over here. So obviously this was your first home game. I'm curious what you made of the crowd, but for you to come back and return in a game like this where not only you played well, but Jaron and Dez played well beside you, uh, what does that say about the future of this team and, and what you guys can still accomplish? Uh, basically me piggybacking off, you know, what I said um, after the New Orleans game, you know, having you know, those two guys alongside of me who can, you know, pretty much go and score the ball at will um, in different levels uh, is big time for us. And I feel like it makes us tougher to guard, you know, when you have to worry about three guys who can go score 30 or 40, you know, a night. Um, it just makes us better. And then, you know, the guys we have around us, you know, makes it, you know, even easier, you know, for us as they continue to gain confidence and stay aggressive. Uh, it forced teams not to be able to, you know, just focus in or key in on, you know, certain guys. You know, you have to worry about all five that's on the floor. So, hey, job. Ben said during that losing streak before you got that they learned how to be patient. You know, not to force things, whether winning or losing. In the last couple of games, you guys were patient with the uh, down twenty, then up twenty. How important is that going forward to use that patience to make sure you can close out games going forward? I feel like patience is key. Um, whether it's, you know, with a team or, you know, a player. You know, some guys, it takes some guys, you know, longer than others, or it takes teams longer than others. And you see that, you know, after each season that a new team, you know, pop in and, you know, make a lot of noise. Um, so patience is definitely key, um, whether you're winning or losing. Um, but I just feel like, you know, the message I just have from the team is, you know, have fun and be us, you know, even after the New Orleans game, you know, we were down 24, uh, whatever, at halftime. And, you know, we came back and won that game. And, you know, after that game, uh, Coach actually brought it up, you know, post-game today, asking them, you know, what I said. And I just told them, you know, like, regardless if we're, you know, up 24 or down 24, you know, we got to be us and play that type of basketball. And, you know, that basketball helped us win, you know, the game versus uh, the Pelicans. And then tonight we go up what, 23, and then they come back and take the lead early in the third, and, you know, we got back to us and was able to win, you know, by double digits. So um, that was pretty much my message and having fun. Like, you can't play the game at all frustrated or, you know, in your feelings at all. You just got to, you know, enjoy it and have fun. So. Dez actually just mentioned to us in the locker room there was a, a timeout. He thought it might have been after you robbed the Santi, where you said, hey, we're back having fun. Yeah, yeah, it was after Santi's, yeah. How would you describe kind of the, obviously you've had fun throughout your career, but the experiencing the joy again after having to sit and watch for two months and obviously not enjoying that experience? Ooh, uh, I can say it was tough, but I can't at the same time, because obviously, you know, the tough part was not being able to be out there and, you know, enjoy and have fun with my guys. Um, but now that I'm out there, you know, I'm making sure that we're all having fun, you know, no matter what. So that was pretty much, you know, just my message. Um, you can just tell by the energy of the team, you know, we catch a lob, you got the bench going crazy, you got the players screaming, yelling, dapping each other up. You know, that's our type of basketball. That's how we are. That's the team we are, people we are. Um, you know, we very, you know, close knit. Um, I just preach that, man. Like, you know, regardless of what it is, we got to have fun and, you know, celebrate, you know, the opportunities we have, you know, day in and day out. Um, I even made coach leave the locker room and walk back in because he came in just clapping. Like, I, you got to come in screaming after a win. We got to celebrate. So. And uh, another one real quick, just packed house. People are excited. How would you describe the atmosphere tonight? Crazy. Crazy, it's what we need every night. Obviously, uh, we just gotta continue handling, handling business for them, you know, on our home floor coming and getting wins. But, you know, they brought us a lot of energy, even when, you know, Indiana went on that run, you know, they stayed in the game with us and, you know, allowed us to, you know, feed off their energy once again to, you know, get the lead back and then push it to double digits. Obviously, basketball is a game of runs. So um, we knew Indiana would come back, you know, fighting back, but, uh, you know, have that crowd, you know, alongside us with the energy and, you know, how loud there was, uh, help us, you know, get this win tonight. Ja, uh, what's this been like for you watching as, you know, Jaron and Dez have kind of elevated their games, now back-to-back -back games where all of y'all have scored over 20 points. Uh, what's it been like for you personally to see, like, these two elevate and now you're sharing the floor with them 
where they're playing probably the best basketball, at least offensively, of their career? Uh, it's fun for me. You know, obviously, you know, me being, you know, a basketball junkie, um, you know, I've seen it for a while now, you know, pretty much since, you know, we all got together. Um, but it goes back to, you know, the patience of, you know, um, just allowing those guys to, you know, piece everything together. And, you know, we had moments where, you know, I was out last year, um, obviously was out this year, and it showed them, you know, a different type of defensive coverages and, you know, a different type of, you know, pressure that, you know, they have to put on themselves to, you know, go be that guy. And if you ask me, they're doing damn good. So um, I love it, man. And as long as I can keep going out there and, you know, they're doing that, I'm, I'm pushing for them to, you know, both be all-stars this year. John, piggybacking off of that, uh, the facilitation that's there now with you and Des and throughout the team working off that self-creation, just the offensive games, it's really opened up. You've seen the three-point production open up. You've seen you know, the lanes open up, the spacing is definitely there. Where do you think that is? And it certainly seems to be improving You know, going into the new year. I just feel like we're all unselfish. Um, obviously, Des took a major leap with you know being a you know playmaker for us, and you see it like tonight he had seven assists. Um, that's you know big time for us. You know him being able to you know not only create for himself but for others, and me being the point guard, that's my job. And all I try to do is you know just get us easy and great shots. And I know you know the guys put in the work to you know knock down those shots, and if they miss, you know the ball coming back again if you open, and I believe in you a hundred percent to knock it down. Um, ja, in, in that uh, third quarter, uh, that big run, it was you, JD, Zaire, Santi, and X. Just what really stood out to you with their play and their execution on both sides of the ball? Um, I just felt like we were very aggressive, you know, defensively. And I just feel like that's just give you a lot of confidence when, you, you know, you're seeing the other team miss shots and we're able to, you know, uh, get stops and rebound. Uh, it just make us, you know, pretty much click on all cylinders. So, you know, the energy and effort those guys, you know, came in the game and brought for us, you know, was big time allowed us to get, you know, a comfortable lead, you know, going into that fourth quarter. And, um, you know, hats off to them. You know, they put in the work. Um, coach gave them the opportunity and they made the best of it. So, you know, I'm proud of them and we just got to continue to keep it going. Thanks, Thanks Y'all have a good night.